Welcome to another Board Game Bears unboxing. It's been a while since I posted a video, but I am now going to unwrap a new game I just picked up. It's not even out in most of the world yet, I guess not in the States. I was lucky to get the last copy from 401 Games last week. And it is Tom Lehman's Winter Court. Now, he, of course, is the designer of Race for the Galaxy and Res Arcana, two very popular games. Now, I'm really surprised about this one because I saw it show up in the store and I had no idea what it was about. I just saw his name on it, so I look it up on uh, Board Game Geek. And there really was no information about it other than a little bit about the uh, the design of it from the designer there were no reviews no videos no pictures even so this is really an anomaly normally i'm used to seeing and hearing about games three years before they're actually released the usual kickstarter hype it's always at least a year in advance where you'll start to see major channels reviewing a video a prototype an early copy so very odd to see a game come out with absolutely no advanced hype nothing not a single video on YouTube I find it actually quite astounding and this is Rio Grand games I mean this is not a first-time designer this is the guy who designed race for the galaxy so why are they not promoting it I don't get it promotions the thing for every single game these days I mean I remember hearing about Darwin's Journey three years ago and I just picked it up like two months ago and it finally hit retail. I was like so sick to, ab about hearing about it. I'm surprised I actually even bought it because usually it's just you're hearing everything ab about the game on every channel. And so I'm uh, quite amazed that I'll probably be the first one to get a video up on YouTube about this game. So anyway, the um, it's a small box, as you can see, and... It seems to be similar to Battle Line, so it's a lane battler. Now, I haven't read the rules. I haven't really read much about it. Um, all I know, there was a, an argument going on in a thread about this on Board Game Geek about uh, the use of the fool, the historical depiction of the fool in this game. There was like this argument going on, almost turned me off from buying it. But I decided to take a chance. Now. I normally never buy games unless I get a few reviews and opinions. I mean, there's not even a rating for this on Board Game Geek. It just came out of nowhere. I mean, it's very refreshing in a way to see something just show up as a surprise. I'm not used to that, and especially not from a well-known designer. So I have no idea how good it's going to be. I mean, I, I had Race for the Galaxy briefly. I never really got into it. There was nothing my wife wanted to play. And I think I had Res Arcana too for about two weeks and then I sold it. So let's take a look at what's inside here. We've got some wooden meeples in two colors. Now, like I say, our, our channel is a two-player um, channel. We just play games that are really good for two players. So that's why I picked this up. And it was only, I think, 20 four dollars or something like that it's fairly cheap so a little fold out rule sheet contents eight cord tiles 60 cards 12 pawns so two-sided it looks like it'll be very quick to learn and then here's the the deck of cards so i should open this too so this is supposed to be out in the states near the end of march so i have no idea why canada got this first Sometimes strange things happen like that. And they had 10 copies in, and I remember looking at it, and I was thinking maybe I should get this. It was at 10, and then about two hours later, it was at four copies left. So I managed to snag the last one. So there's the artwork, different colors. I mean, it looks pretty basic you just got numbers here what is this one to ten one to yeah one to ten in all in all colors okay 
So it's cheap and uh, that's always good because I'm getting tired of uh, $100 priced games now. I really don't buy those anymore. More and more just getting small box games. Just bought Caper Europe and Isle of Trains and they're both uh, really compact so I save a lot of space. So here are the cards. Wizard and Steward, I guess you're battling on both sides of these characters. Knight and Sage, Matchmaker and Lover, Ruler and Consort, Charlatan and Fool, the Prince and the Princess, and then there's a setup and another prince and another princess. All right, so I just wanted to get this um, unwrapped now because I want to put it up on YouTube just to give everybody a look at this. I may be uh, the first time in my life I've got a video up before anybody else did. <laughs> I just started uh, the board game channel about a month or two ago and I don't really post on there a lot, but it's just kind of like a, a side thing from my main channel. So um there's really no stress involved with it we just put up videos when i get new stuff and do unboxings so uh the full play of this will come shortly probably in the next few days and uh, then we'll give it a verdict on it and see how good it is so i'm hoping it's going to be good because of the designer's reputation and it is two player only so a uh, very cheap game and uh, like I say it was out in Canada already in early February and not in the States until end of March. All right so I hope you enjoy that and stay tuned for a full playthrough video.